everybody, it's Carrie from Tigerfly Soap Company. Today we're going to be making bath melts or bath truffles or whatever you want to call them. We've got Easter coming up, so we're getting our Easter stuff made or started at least. So we're going to use these cute little Easter bunny molds for our melts today. We're going to use our scent unicorn poop we have renamed it unicorn fluff this is from aromatic apothecary they're a great company right now i'm melting down my cocoa butter i'm going to give you the recipe real quick we're going to use 175 grams of baking soda 90 grams citric acid 85 grams cornstarch 185 grams cocoa butter, one and a half pipettes of fragrance oil. We're going to use 16 grams of poly 80. That's going to help reduce any slip and fall worries. And I will put this recipe in the description box below as well. Right now I'm melting down some cocoa butter because we got to get it good and melted. I'm doing it in the microwave. You could always do a double boiler method or however you do it, but just make sure that you don't overheat it. And I'm using deodorized cocoa butter because I don't like um, the scent of natural cocoa butter and my product. Now one thing I am going to do with our molds here is I'm going to add some fun little sprinkles. If I can figure out how to work this top. They didn't make it easy for me. Oh there we go. So I guess I just pop that up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add some little sprinkles. And these are just little Wilton cake decorating sprinkles. You could use soap sprinkles or you could make bubble frosting sprinkles. However you want. in there. Oh, that was smart, Carrie. Put them in there. Let's see how our cocoa butter is doing. Oh, yes, it's nice and melty. Just move this aside for a minute. I stir. I'm going to stir this cocoa butter around and make sure it's all melted. Now why those P why all those pieces are finishing up melting? I'm going to go ahead and get my dry ingredients ready. We need 175 grams of baking soda. Seventy-five grams of baking soda, ninety grams of citric acid, okay. Now for eighty-five grams of cornstarch. Okay. 
So there's our dry ingredients. I'm going to mix that together with a whisk. combined. We've got our cocoa butter all melted down here so we are going to add the rest of our liquid ingredients into the cocoa butter. First we're going to add our poly 80. 16 grams. Now, that's going to be optional for you. I always use it because of the slip and fall. You won't have the oil slick in your bath, and um, you won't have the risk of falling. It also helps disperse your colorant and um, all that good stuff, but you still get the great benefits of all the wonderful oils. Okay. Now... We're going to add in our fragrance. And there's our fragrance. This is a super popular fragrance for me and does smell really good. Now I'm also going to use uh, Pink Lake today. Let me see here. And I'm mixing that into the oils and I'm actually going to use my little my little tiny mixer here to get that incorporated in and then we can add more if we need to we'll see how pink it makes our powders here in a minute. Make sure it's blended in good. Okay. Now, you're going to add your butters and powders together. You're going to stir it quickly because you're going to need to pour it quickly. You know what? I've decided I'm also going to put some of my Mad Micah's Mermaid Trails glitter in these because I just love the sparkle. So I will make some of these in pink. And I'm also going to make some in blue. And I'm going to package, I usually package three per little package. I just use little, uh, the, like the cello bags, put a little bit of um, grass in the bottom, and then stick my bunnies in there um, and sell them that way. But you know, you can do whatever you want to, however you like that. So our molds are ready. You need that. So now we've got to get. I'm going to try to put this where you can see it, but I don't know how good of a job I'm going to do with that. Okay. 
it blended with that. Make sure it's nice and blended with this. And it's easier if you use one of the um, uh, bowls that have the really long pour spout. That's what I normally use, but I forgot to bring one inside, so we're just using this one. Because I'm not going back outside, it's icy out there. Now, if this hardens up too quickly on you, mine isn't, but if it would happen to, you can slightly reheat it, um, but you need to be very, very careful when reheating it because if you get it too warm, you will activate it, and then it, it's done done so that's why I say work quickly and just get it in there so you don't have to worry about that now a lot of people ask about subbing can you sub cocoa butter out and use shea butter or mango butter or a different kind of butter and I'm going to tell you guys no. Now if you want to do that and try it and it works for you, wonderful, but I'm here to tell you when you sub out a hard butter for a softer butter, you're going to get a softer product. That's just the way it is. So. You really need to use the cocoa butter. You could use cocum butter. Um, it's a nice hard butter. But shea butter, mango butter, those aren't hard enough. You also need to give these time. These take a little bit of time to harden. I actually leave them, if I'm not going to put them in the freezer, I let them harden for at least a day before I pop them out. And then you can pop them out and they're nice and hard. If you pop them out too quickly, you're going to break them. I promise you, they will get hard. If you go by the recipe. Now, if you don't want to use poly 80, um, you could make up that liquid with cocoa butter with extra cocoa butter that um, 16 grams you can use I used a lake colorant pink um, tomorrow I'll make some more and I'll do a, a lake color blue you can use mica if you want it's pretty important to use poly 80 if you're going to use mica because you're putting cocoa butter and mica together and they don't mix you need the emulsifier in order to get that mica to not stick to your body and to your bathtub if you're going to use it okay all right i will show you guys the finished product when we pop them out tomorrow thanks for watching and i'm back so it's only been a few hours since i made these but i did put them in the freezer so we're going to go ahead and pop them out I'm being a little more careful with these because I don't want to break their ears. But there they are. Look how pretty. You only should need, well, you definitely only need one per bath. So you're going to drop it into your warm bath water. And 
they will fizz a little bit like a bath bomb but not um they don't have the show that a bath bomb does and they, they fizz out a little slower but that fizzing action between the cocoa butter and the baking soda help disperse the cocoa butter throughout the water and, and it also helps it melt down quicker. And I have no trouble with these melting. Um, my customers absolutely love these and rave about them. So I'll put, you know, three per bag and I'll probably, you know, I'll mix them. I'll do the blue ones and I'll put like, you know, two blue to one pink or two pink to one blue in the bags. But like I said, feel free to package these any way you want. You can do them individually or or whatever you want. But there they are. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Share it if you will. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so you see when we make new videos. Have a great day.